Hello, welcome to Bagway TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Francisco Macias Nguema. Francisco Macias Nguema was the first president of Equatorial Guinea from 1968 until he was overthrown and executed in 1979 by his nephew. Born on January 1st, 1924, as Mezem Nguema to a father who was said to be a witch doctor, his father was also alleged of killing his own younger brother. They were from Frank ethnic group, the country's majority ethnic group. At the age of nine, Marcias witnessed his father's beating to death by a colonial officer for demanding better wages for his people. As if that was not enough, his mother committed suicide a week after, leaving behind Marcias and ten other children. Marcias Nguema's political career began in the civil service, where he failed the entrance exam three times before passing, and later moved up the ladder to become mayor of Mungomo in the Spanish colonial government, as well as member of the territorial parliament. He became deputy prime minister of the transition government in 1964 and won the first and last free and fair election, according to some quarters, in the history of independent Equatorial Guinea against Prime Minister Bonifacio Ondo Edu in 1968. After his defeat, Ondoedu went into exile in Gabon and shortly after, he was reported to the public to have committed suicide. But some people believed he was executed after he returned to the country for allegedly planning a coup. Masas Nguema suspended the constitution in 1971, replacing it with decrees. One of such decrees was Decree 415, which gave all direct powers of government and institutions, including those of the legislature and judiciary, together with those of the cabinet ministers, to him. Death penalty was a punishment for threatening the president or the government why insulting or offending the president or his cabinet attracted 30 years in prison. Masas Nguema merged all the political parties in the country together on July 14, 1972, through a presidential decree to form the United National Party, which was later called the United National Workers' Party, making him president for life of both nation and party. He conducted a plebiscite on July 29, 1973, where the 1968 constitution was replaced and absolute power was formally given to Masias Nguema with his party becoming the only legally permitted in Equatorial Guinea. Based on the official figures released, an unbelievable 99% of voters agreed that Masias became an absolute ruler and a few months later, he was elected president for life in an election that was said to be stage managed. Masias Nguema banned private education through a decree in 1975. The country's military, particularly the presidential bodyguard, was controlled by his relatives and family members through which he sometimes ordered the execution of a whole family or village. At some point, Masias became so insecure that he thought everyone was after him. He then started making decrees he believed could keep him safe, some of which were the death penalty for those who put on spectacles. Using the word intellectual was punishable, boats were destroyed to stop the people from leaving the country and fishing was also banned. The only road out of the country was blocked and Masias changed his name to an African name, Masia Nguema Biyogo Nigwe Ndong, in 1976, mandating the rest of the population to follow suit. He banned Western medicines as well, saying they were un-African. The fear of Masias Nguema was the beginning of wisdom. His consumption of large quantities of cannabis and Iboga could have worsened his situation as he gave himself titles like the unique miracle and grandmaster of education, science and culture. And in 1978, he changed the national motto to there is no other god than Masias Nguema. His government had no economic or development plan, not to talk of accountability in government. According to a report by Alf Klintebeg, about 47% of the population fled the country in fear of persecution, while another report by Time Magazine in 1979 put the figures at about 70%. Intellectuals and professionals were the main target of persecution, leading to a brain drain that still affects the country to date. Within his government, 10 of his ministers and two-thirds of the legislators were also killed. Many people thought that Masias Nguema's acts were beyond ordinary, that he might have had a mental disorder as a result of trauma from the scene of his father beaten to death while he was a child. By 1979, Masias Nguema's government's cup was full as the United Nations and the European Commission moved against him. When he began executing members of his own family, and members of his governing council started doubting his sanity. Theodoro Obiang Nguema Mbasogo, Masias Nguema's nephew, who also had a brother among those to be executed overthrew him on August 3, 1979. Obiang was the military governor of Bioko and vice minister of the armed forces before the overthrow. He had sent his children, Monica, Maribel, and Paco to safety in North Korea before he was captured. Some of the charges against him were genocide, mass murder, embezzlement of public funds, violation of human rights, and treason. Evidences were gathered against him and six of his allies in the special military tribunal. Nguema was sentenced to death 101 times. 
He and six others convicted were executed by a hired Moroccan army firing squad. What's your take on Masias Nguema as an Ecotech Guinea politician? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.